everybody. Uh, discussed a few moments ago, uh, we're going to take uh, one or two questions for Claudio. Uh, we'll then take everything for Casper, uh, and then Claudio can finish up. We'll do the first five minutes for the photographers. I'll give you the nod when we're ready to finish that. Thank you. Um, and just to remind everybody, press conferences in English and is live. Um, and when the mics are coming around, if you can make sure you've got one asking a question, but don't fiddle with them in between because they cause havoc for the audio. So. Uh, Rob, would you like to start us off? Claudio, good to see you. Hi. Good afternoon. Um, after Saturday, have you had some hard words for the players? No, normal work, normal training, just recharge the battery, clean the mind and think about the next match. It's a very important match for the Champions League. Um, this match and the others, the, la the next two are very, very important for us and, and tell us what what we can do in Champions League. For the first time since you've been Leicester manager, there have been some commentators questioning the effort of the players. Is that fair, do you think? No, 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 no. Of course, sometimes you can play well, sometimes not so well. I think, uh, as well in Manchester, the first half was no good, but the second half we played very, very well. We, we were very, very close to score a goal and we can reopen the match. That's it. But I'm very confident with my team. Mark Albrighton did say in the, in the, in the game af after the game, though, he said that he felt there wasn't enough fight all over the pitch, and that's what Leicester are so well known for. Do you agree with him? No, they fight. Sometimes, of course, last season we were more compact, and there was another style of football. Now everybody knows us, and, and we try to change something. And now we are in, in the balance, in the middle. Not as well last season, no new season, but that is a normal for a team as a Leicester. It's difficult because I know you want to change the side. There's so many games you have to use the players, but dropping Mares and Slimani and Danny Simpson, does that show that you have the, pre the Champions League as a priority? Yes. No, in this moment, it's priority because... Uh, the Premier League, we must be saved at the end of the, man, the year. And we have uh, so many matches. The Champions League is now. In one month, we play our Champions League, in or out. And then, uh, when uh, we played against Liverpool, against Manchester, we lost the same. And then I wanted to preserve some players to be ready for tomorrow evening. Kasper, how much did Saturday hurt? Any defeat hurts, of course it does. Um, not nice to, to lose in the way we did. Um, and uh, yeah, we've uh, we've obviously had to, had to look ourselves in the mirror and, uh, and get back on it because um, it's going to be a massive test for us tomorrow. Um, have you have you and the, and the players around you, the defensive unit as we call it, is there a lack of confidence there? Have you lost confidence? Do you think? No. Categorically. Categorically. It's, it just feels very unlike Leicester, certainly the Leicester we saw last season, the way goals are being conceded at the moment. Five, five from corners already, Casper. Yeah, but you look, at, uh, you look at how we've started over the last few seasons. We, we haven't been the quickest of starters, so uh, I don't think it's a, it's a time to worry or panic at all. You know, we, we, we come good during the middle of the season and, and we, we become really, really good towards the end. And um, yeah, at the moment, we're, uh, we're working hard on a few things and... Um, It'll, uh, it'll come, I'm 100% I'm sure of that. And Mark Albrighton said after the game as well that you, you, you were planning a team meeting to talk it all through because it wasn't quite panning out as you wanted it. Has that happened? It was, we've, had, we've had a chat and things have, uh, things have been said and resolved and, and we move on, you know. It's, uh, it's a long old season and yeah, we've had, a, we've had some bad uh, performances away from home. Like I say, we, we started badly in the first half in, 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 in the games and we haven't really been able to recover but yeah, we, uh, we're, we're definitely confident that we, we're going to turn this around again and, and come back strong like we always have been. I, whether, I wonder whether this is a symptom of the expectation you've built around the club, around the whole country, around the, around the world after the extraordinary performances last season. Everybody expects you to be able to do it again. Uh, Leicester maybe now where they should be. You talk about expectation, that's your interpretation, your, your, you, the media's 
experience that we, we all of a sudden there's expectation on us. We, we go out and we try our best every game and that, that's really been our mentality. That, that's the mentality that, that won us the league last season. We don't get ahead of ourselves. We're not the type of team to go out and proclaim we're going to do this and that and the other. We, we, we go out and we, we try our best and if it's good enough then great. It wasn't good enough on the, on Saturday but you know we've, uh, we've, we've been doing really well in the Champions League so there it has been good enough. So uh, we, we're looking to just keep going and, like I say, the, the expectation thing, that's something I think you lot like to write about. Does it make you feel, because you're doing so well in the Champions League, that it may be reassuring? Is it sometimes a relief when you play in this competition? No, not necessarily. Um, we are in the position that, that every footballer wants to be in, I think. You know, we're playing in the Premier League, we're playing in the Champions League. I don't think you can ask for much more as a footballer, so you've got to enjoy it as well. Uh, and. Personally, myself, I'm, in, I'm enjoying every minute of it. Casper, um, I wonder, and whilst I'm not looking for excuses, how difficult it's been this season with the pre-Champions League games away at Manchester United, after away at Liverpool and away at Chelsea. How difficult has the fixture schedule been for you, do you think, ahead of the Champions League encounters? I haven't even thought about it. It's just the way the schedule is. That's life. Um, do the players sense any difference pre-Champions League games in terms of approach at all? I mean, obviously the, there's a there's a great deal more attention in the Champions League from the outside world. Uh, it's a big international competition and you know, you uh, you see a lot of changes around the training ground for, for, for different reasons of, of sponsorships and things like that. Where everything has to be, be different around the training ground, but I think that's, that's the only sort of thing you, you notice that's different. What do you think you're doing well in the Champions League? that you've not quite managed to find in the Premier League so far as a, as a group? Well, we've, we've had two very, very good games in the Champions League. Um, like I say, we, we, we found it tough away from home in, in the Premier League at the moment, but, you know, it's, uh, like I said before, it's, I'm, I'm just repeating myself with, uh, with the thing that we've, we, we haven't started well in, in a lot of campaigns, but we've always come back. Funny from me, Danny Drinkwater, as Rob mentioned, and Mark Albright talked about the lack of fight. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Listen, I, I, my teammates, and uh, I have I have one hundred percent confidence in my teammates. I'm, I know a lot of them from for many years, and yeah, I uh, I would never ever question any of their heart at all. Natalie, please. Casper, how much does playing in the Champions League feel like a sort of once in a lifetime opportunity? You know, like perhaps winning the league did last season for Leicester. Well, no, not at all. Um, this is a type of place you want to be and uh, this is the type of competition that inspires you. You want to play in, in this competition all the time. So uh, for us, it's, it's a great incentive and uh, you know we, uh, we look, we've, we've been loving the Champions League nights for now and, and we want more. And from what you're saying, you don't feel like you're putting too much priority on the Champions League. Do you feel like that? About no, not it? at all. Folks, I'm just going to cut the photography there, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No, sorry, Karen. How much are you enjoying the competition then and being top of the group and these European nights? Yeah, obviously the, the first experience of a, of a European night here at this stadium was, was fantastic. Um, you, know, I, I, I you know, I catch myself in the moment going back to, to when I was here and we were playing Tuesday nights in, in the Championship in, in front of you know, a lot smaller crowds. and. You know, it's, it, we've come a long way, and I think it's important to remember that as well. And um, the uh, the atmosphere that, that was generated against Porto at home was, was absolutely fantastic. Again, it was it was something that, that inspired the lads. And obviously, you're playing the Danish champions. A special fixture for you? Yeah, obviously, you know, FC Copenhagen are, uh, are, the, are the team that are the the, the top dogs in in Denmark, and um, it'll be a, it'll be a special experience for myself to to play against them. I've never never played myself against the Danish team and never played an actual club game in Denmark so um, when that time comes that'll be special. Just jump down here in the second row please. Uh, Kasper, uh, how impressed are you by the job uh, Ståle Solbakken has done for uh, FC Copenhagen and what is the main reason why they have succeeded in the Champions League so far? I think he's uh, he's instilled a lot of belief in them, he's, he's made them very very disciplined. They're, uh, they're a tough side to break down, and I think uh, you can see on the run they're on. I think it's 21 unbeaten or something at the moment. Um, you know, they, they they have a lot of momentum with them at the moment, and and I, I hear from the way Stolle works. You know, he's he's a very 
articulate, very passionate type of guy and a, and a coach that, that leaves the players in no doubt in what, what, what he wants from them. So, um, like I say, they are, they're incredibly disciplined from what it be a tough proposition for us. Kasper, who is your, your team in Denmark? Did you have a, a favorite team like your father? Uh, it's Brøndby. Did you not have a team in Denmark? No, I, I moved away from Denmark when I was four years old, and you know English football has always been where where my my heart has lied. And, and, and yeah, yeah, I mean I follow Danish football because of friends I have back in Denmark that play in the Danish league, but I, I wouldn't say I have a, a particular team. Um, Kasper, well, you, you've never played in in a Danish side, as you said. Uh, you've always played in England. Uh, do you think your reputation is different in England than in Denmark? You tell me. I don't well, know. I, well, I don't know either. Um, but, do, but do you think uh, do you think that the Danes are what are seeing the Casper that the English are seeing? <laughs> well, I tend to just be myself, uh, play the way I do, and whether that's in Denmark for them for Denmark or whether it's here, I, I try to just be myself and. I don't really know how people interpret that. And you, you just been on uh, national duty uh, this uh, this uh, week, and um, with six Copenhagen players, did you did you get to talk about this game? A little bit. It was mentioned a couple of times, but you know the the main focus was on on our own games. And what did you talk about then? When it was mentioned? No, it's just that people are looking forward to it. It's going to be interesting. Gentlemen here, please. Thank you. Yes, this is a question for Mr. Ranieri. From Danish radio, Casper uh, is uh, playing together with a lot of the FC Copenhagen players in uh, the national team. Can you, you uh, use some information from him? Have you uh, asked him some advice on the Danish Not players? Not yet, but uh, I'll ask. <laughs> <laughs> What will you tell him, Casper? <laughs> who, who, who should they be? Uh, uh, you be afraid of? I think uh, I think the manager and the the analysis team have, have got that under control. Casper, when you, you saw the draw and you saw Copenhagen come out of the hat, what were your thoughts about playing a country from your home nation? Well, I I was convinced we'd get FC Copenhagen. I don't know why, but um, I, I'd said that we, we'd, def we'd get Sporting Lisbon and, uh, and FC Copenhagen, but um, that was just because of the history I have with, with, with both places. But uh, FC Copenhagen was, was a draw that I'd hoped for. It's a chance for... For my family to to see me play against the Danish team, which has has never happened before, so um, yeah, I was I was very happy with it. I know you live here and this is your home country, but you know Denmark is still you know you're very but connected Denmark's to it. Denmark still my home country. That's right. Yeah. But, but but early anyway, that's fine. Have you been getting extra messages from people because it's a, a game against your home nation? No, not really. Um, obviously, people, my friends and family, they know that. Uh, Leading up to games, the, the, if they if they're writing to me or or calling me, they they shouldn't really expect a reply anyway. So um, yeah, it, like I say, it's a special occasion for for myself to play against a, a Danish team. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's it's another game that that we have to win. You've yet to concede a goal in the Champions League. How important is it to keep that going? Well, clean sheets are nice. They 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 provide a foundation to to win games. But they're not vital, you know. We I'd r much rather be winning games three-two than uh, than drawing nil-nil. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it's it's good for for the defense to to be able to provide a solid foundation for our forward-going players to be able to to win the game for us. And your form this season, how pleased are you with the way you're performing, Casper? Yeah, I'm very happy. Very happy. Anything further for Casper, folks? Before we move on to Claudio. No, okay. Questions for Claudio, then, please. Um, Claudio, um, how um, interesting do you think this game is going to be? For you, it's a chance to virtually go through the group, potentially. And for Copenhagen, you know, they've had a flying start in the Champions League. How exciting a matchup do you think this is? I think it will be a tough match because uh, Copenhagen is a very well-organized team. There are soldiers, are fantastic. They are very, very good shape solid, strong, good in the air. And uh, I think we must do the, the best performance of the season. Um, because it's very, very important for us to get three points, but are very, very important the two next match in Copenhagen also. And uh, it 
this is our future. And tomorrow we have to be strong and play with the passion, with the heart, with everything, with the support of our fans, because it will be a, an hard match until the end. And at the end, they will fight. And um, what do you think about people saying that Champions League is too much of a priority for Leicester at the moment? What's your mm, view about no, that? It's not, it's not the priority of Champions League. In this moment, in this month, is our priority. Our priority, is, of course, is a Premier League. But mm, we want to go through the knockout. Do you remember from the beginning I said, if not possible to go to the Champions League knockout, for us to get experience is also good to go the Europe League knockout. For this reason, is very, very important, the next two matches. But of course, the Premier League is our priority. But this is an incredible opportunity, isn't it? Yes, for, for this reason, I save some players for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Claudio, Claudio did you, do you also sense that and it might be difficult to, I suppose, totally hone, hone in on, but the fact that, as perhaps was suggested before, last season you knew that this was, as you said, your once in a lifetime to win the Premier League, the Champions League, you've got that similar edge to it, and obviously in front of your own crowd, tomorrow night, do you sense that that will bring out the best in your players? Look, for I think uh, my players made uh, the, the world crazy what happened last season, all the world were behind us and they show a fantastic character, a fantastic spirit, it was a fairy tale, no? I like, they continue to show this, it's not important the result for me. I want they show the their strength, the their love for the for the football, for the team, for Leicester, and uh, and for this reason I want more. But uh, if you say ah, uh, this season we start not so well, we considered 15 goal, we considered last season 40, we improved so far. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Of course, we are very hungry. No, we want to to improve, but we are in, in the we are in, in in the right way. We are in the right way. It's a normal when we start the season uh, to have uh, something to to work because uh, new players come and uh, new philosophy, everything new. Uh, the, the the opponent knows us very very well, and we want to to do maybe something more. No, we have to make. As well, the same. We are Leicester. We are a good team when we play together, when we are compact, and we have to show our qualities. Can I just ask about the fitness of your squad? Um, Shinji said obviously it was it was too close to the international uh, break for him to play against Chelsea. Will he be back featuring? Is there any knocks on niggles? No, Shinji didn't play. Uh, was in the bench because every time Shinji come back from the international matches. Is not Shinji, he's a brother. Mm, he needs to recover a little more. For this reason, uh, I put him on the on the stand. Shinji is very important for us. He's a fantastic player and help us a lot. Sorry, Claudio, just for the avoidance of doubt, does that mean Shinji is available for tomorrow? Yes, of course, he's available. And non police Mendy, Mendy, any movement there? Is he no, Mendy was unlucky in the last training session. He was a little fragment of the bone, is it? And now uh, I think today is in the surgery, just to clean this little fragment of the the bone. I know it's early, but any idea how long he could be out for? Depend, depend. Uh, four weeks, five weeks. I don't know. I was a unlucky man. There's been lots of talk about set pieces and defending set pieces. You mentioned you expect Hagen to be strong physically yeah. tomorrow. Have you had to work? especially hard on set pieces? Yeah, we work a little more, but you know, uh, the set piece is, 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 is important to be concentrated and, uh, and cover better the, 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 the box. Uh, when we are concentrated, it's okay. And uh, I'm sure tomorrow evening we will be concentrated. Last season when you came in here and you'd seen the greatest escape before, you said you wanted to see who's the real Leicester City the one that got them into the relegation zone, or the one that got them out. This season, which is the real Leicester City in the Premier League, 
for the Champions League? Uh, is it always the same Leicester City? Is, is uh, the life this? If you remember well, at the beginning of the season, I said, is it normal when you, for the first time, play in Europe, the team loses something? Is it normal? That is a normal. I, I am a lot experienced, and also uh, the team who I managed, and for the first time we have been in Europe. When you play in, uh, in, uh, in your league, is a little up and down. Is a normal. They are human, or not machine. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Rob, uh, Claudio, Jamie Vardy has always been one of the hardest working players in the Premier League, um, and yet Alan Shearer today has said he thinks Vardy is sulking. And that he says, quote, he sees a lack of effort there. Would you like to respond to that? No, look, I think uh, the ex player can say everything, but Shearer was a fantastic scorer, goal scorer. He knows <coughs> there are moments he can score, and some months he can score. Uh, if he is speaking about the match against Chelsea, I uh, spoke with uh, Jimmy and say stay with uh, David Luiz, don't run, don't press, stay only with him. Because for me it was important to give a, a, a point of reference of my players and try to go in counter-attack and leave him against David Luiz. That was uh, what happened and it's not his fault, it's my fault maybe, but Jimmy for us is very, very important. I'm very confident with him. When he start to make a pressing, all the team go behind him, and I'm okay. He's such a talisman for the team. Is it unthinkable that you might drop him for a game? No, no, no. Look, for me, it's important he stay calm and keep going to to maintain his uh, strength. And sooner or later, he score a goal. Uh, Claudio, absurd as the notion may be, is there just a one percent chance? that with Leicester enjoying the Champions League so much that you could get dragged into a relegation battle? Because last season, Chelsea were in the bottom six for half the season. I hope that we are different. <laughs> but is there just a 1% chance that it could happen if people uh, lose, uh, lose concentration? <coughs> Listen, uh, I touch wood now, but I think we can fight and every match, okay. Now, our training session is uh, uh, Premier League and Champions League, of course. But I'm sure we are getting better and we have to be solid, strong mentally and we don't make any pressure about a relegation or something else. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow.